Reading a homily this morning comes from our songbook, and we're going to be on page 265, C22, if you have a songbook. It's called, I am glad. I am glad I came into this world able to think and reason. I am glad I came into the world able to feel pain and pleasure, sorrow and joy, anger and love. I am glad I'm able to heal both physically and mentally, able to be aware of growth and to change. I am glad I'm able to respond to love, beauty, and truth, able to discern reality, face it, accept it. I am glad I came into this world able to feel with others, to care for others. I am glad I came into this world and an unfinished creature moving towards completion. I give thanks for many gifts of life. I am glad I came into this world. Amen. Good morning. And welcome to this Sunday, Sunday service. We are here and this, let's call it situation that we're in. But this, this is a new experience. This is change. This is what we have been asking for. We've been asking for change in our lives and change is here. I believe that this world is perfect the way it is. Nothing that we can change. And I believe that we all ask at this time in life for this experience, whether to experience change in our lives whether to experience transition to another level. But we have asked for this time in our lives to happen at this time of this planet. Change is great. And we're here to change, to transform, to recreate. It is time for us to recreate recreate ourselves in a new way. Many people are homebound. Some people are working. If you are homebound, if you are inside your house all the time, you have time to walk outside. But if you are homebound, you have time to do different things. It's time to move out of our minds and start creating new ideas, start creating new connections, start creating your, your future. The future is here. Your future starts now. Let's begin by changing the way we think, by changing the way we act to things. Yes, we're in a pandemic, yes. But like I said before, we've been asking for this experience. We've been asking for change. And this change is globally. It is, this change is going to bring new light into the way we are, the way we're being, doing things. Cell phones, computers, uh, um, uh, iPads, movies, all these things. The internet is crashing because so many people are, are watching TV, movies, and streaming. But it's time to put aside all these things. It's time to go inside ourselves to find the answers to our questions. We are here today to experience the new reality. In one dream that I recently had, had I saw two planets meeting each other. The one we have a new planet, new planet coming in into this one. They were crashing, but they weren't crashing. They were melting together. They became one. And that tells us a new change, new era is coming. A new normal is becoming. We have to be together by separating each other. How is that? Uh, interesting subject. Be together by separating each other. 
by being away from somebody, you are helping them fight this pandemic. But it's time for us, like I said before, to go inside ourselves, to go and start doing the things we wanted to do. Read a book, um, change uh, the color of your room. Start following your God feeling. When you get up in the morning, you ask the spirit, what should I do today? Will be, what will bring joy to my life? Running, walking, exercising, cooking, reading a book, writing a book, write that book that you wanted to put down. Not that, not that you, not that the world needs a new book, but it will bring inspiration to your life. It will put you in a place, in a place of new reality, new vibration, uh, and bring that happiness to your heart. And that's what we need. God has nothing to do with this. Our creator has nothing to do with this because we have asked before we incarnated that this time, this is what we needed to experience. And we're receiving what we've been asking for. So my wish for you today is go within. Meditate, pray, learn something new. If you want to change jobs because the one you have or had you don't like it anymore, start doing research. You have time. Let's do research for a new job. Maybe you can upgrade the one you have when you come back, maybe. It's options. The opportunity is here. Let's not waste it. Let's not leave it. Let it go by the wayside. Let's go and do this change because change is wonderful. I know there's negativity all over, but let's change, let's make it happen. Thank you. We now come to the prosperity service, part of this service, and there's no congregants today here, but in order for us to maintain this that you see behind me, our church, we need to pay our bills. We need the electricity, we need the heat, we need uh, all the services that's required, the lawn or the, the more, uh, of the grass outside and, and things like that. So there's a donate button, press that donate button. Give us the opportunity to be here for the next time we meet. We don't know when that's gonna be. I hope it's really soon, but let's donate. Let's give your offering with a lot of love and a lot of heart and all the wishes for your house of worship. And today's meditation will be, uh, we'll have no music in today's meditation. So we're going to do a meditation with a singing bowl. We're gonna vibrate on the singing bowl or the sound of the singing bowl. And as I play the singing bowl, you're gonna start thinking that the vibrations start coming from the bottom of your feet, moving up, up, up through your body, and I will guide you through that. So let's just start. As you feel yourself uh, center, comfortable in a sitting position or maybe laying position in the chair, your bed, or, or any way you are really comfortable, and you're gonna place your hands on your lap and we're gonna start right now. So as we breathe easily, we're gonna start and the vibration is gonna start from the bottom of your feet. Moving up to your ankles your calves, keep going up. It's gonna keep going 
through your tides, your waist, your stomach and your back, your chest, your arms, your shoulders, your neck, to your forehead, and the top of your head, your crown chakra will open up. And as chakra opens, energy starts coming in from the universe. As we allow the energy to come in, you start flowing from top to bottom, from your crown chakra to your third eye, your throat chakra, your heart, solar plexus, ground chakra, and exit through the bottom of your feet to Mother Earth. And as we are grounded, we keep that vibration mode going. And we're gonna start asking the universe to heal ourselves, to guide us and give us the power to maintain ourselves, the power to heal, our, to heal ourselves. And we're gonna ask for that healing now. Ask for healing for yourself, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. We ask for healing for ourselves to begin with. And then we ask for healing for people around, uh, around us, our, our relatives, people that we haven't seen. And we ask for healing. Now we're gonna put our hands together. It's like you're holding water, but actually you're gonna be holding the planet. And we're gonna ask healing for this planet, our planet Earth, which is transforming into something new. This transformation is taking place now and it needs all the healing that we can give it. And we're gonna imagine this beautiful white energy flowing through the planet, through every person, every animal, every plant, everyone to be to be healed, to be energized, to make the transition easy for everyone. Transition to the other side or transition in here. We ask for healing and we're grateful for this opportunity to be able to heal the planet and everyone in it, including ourselves. And now, as we put our hands back on our lap, we ask universe, we ask universe to guide us. And as we ask for healing and guidance, we're gonna imagine a bench in a meadow, a beautiful white bench in an open field. And we're gonna be sitting on this bench, enjoying the sunlight that doesn't burn, but it warms you up. This beautiful wind that comes in into your face, but it doesn't disturb your peace. And We are here, and at the distance we see a house. And since we are a thought at this moment, we fly to the first step on this house. And there are seven steps. And as we breathe one, we take step one, step two, Slowly, step three, 
four, five, six, and seven. And we enter this room with all these windows and all this light coming into this building. It's just amazing the clarity that is here. And we see a little chair on the middle of this room. And we sit in this chair and we ask, Father, Mother, God, universal energy, we ask for your guidance. Please teach us the way in my path. As every day I move forward and, try and are willing to change, please show me the way. And the way will come in a dream, in a thought, in an action. It will come when you feel tingling in your belly or air in your hair or touch in your skin. And you will know that you need to do something or something that you were thinking will activate it in your energy field and you will follow that and be connected to source energy. So we give thank you for this opportunity and we go back. Now we take a leap of faith and start walking towards the door. And at the door we say, thank you for this moment in time and the opportunity for this great healing that we're receiving. And we go back to the bench and the meadow and then we go back to our chairs at home. We take a deep breath in and we release it. And we deep, take a deep breath in and release it. And you are back. We go your toes and we go your fingers and you're back. Thank you. We'll see you again. <laughs>